Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, Kevy got a gun. Oh, another gun. Anyways, and some accessories. Now, everything that's in this box, not all of it is from DNL. I will let you know what is and what is not. However, we've saved a little bit of time by pre-opening the blister pack thing a little bit. I actually got my wife to do it. This way I wouldn't slice my fingers off. Not that I'm not dangerous to myself, but you never know. Things can happen. So... This is the Crossman C1911, and this is a pellet pistol. Uh, they do have a BB pistol version that has blowback. It would have been nice if they would have done blowback on this, because it almost really looks like it could be, like the way the slide is installed on the gun and everything, it could be blowback. Um, of course, we do have a faked out uh, slide release that uh, does go through the other side, actually. Um, safety, of course. And, of course, it doesn't move because there's no blowback. So, it's kind of a fakish kind of hammer. It does actually work, though, um, because when you pull the trigger, of course, it goes back. It's a bit of a stiff trigger pull on it, but not bad. Um, magazine release. Push button, pull out. We have our CO2 that goes in here. And we have two six-shot round clips, and you just flip them. So you just pull this down, just rotate, go to the next one. Pull it down, rotate, away you go. This apparently does come off as well. You can take it right off, or you just turn it on its side and load your BBs up, or your pellets up, sorry, and uh, you rotate it. Uh, clockwise, of course, um, but yeah, kind of neat, different. So your valve is also built in too, which is kind of nice. Um, I imagine rebuilding the valve would be pretty simple. Um, we are going to actually get a spare mag for this gun too. Um, definitely got to have a spare mag. More shooting fun, having everything preloaded. Um, you ignite the bottle from the bottom. They do give us a supplied Allen key in the package, among other little goodies. Take all this stuff out. So, we've got a little push rod. That is apparently for taking out pellet jams, um, which means you have to have the clip, of course, removed. I guess if you run out of gas uh, too far, uh, you'd be able to just put this down here. And, of course, it goes far enough that it should get your pellet out of there. Anyways, so, there's that. Kind of neat. It actually looks like a cleaning tool because I have the uh, little slot in here for the, the cloth. But anyways, um, now I have only seen, oh, about a dozen videos on this gun all by the exact same channel. Some guy in India. And you can't understand half the stuff the guy is saying, unfortunately. But there are some English words in there, I guess because I don't have their language for those words. But other than that... Um, neither my wife or myself has really found anything else on this particular one. We found the BB version, um, no problem, just not this version. So this is our Allen key that goes in here and you just, you know, unscrew it to a certain point and drop your bottle in and ignite it. Now, like any other air gun, about every second bottle at least, even the third is okay. Put a drop or two of oil on the seal. It's an easy seal to get at, so just hold it up like this. Drop your oil on there, a couple drops, and put your bottle in, keep holding it this way, and start your process of getting this to snug up against your bottle, and then go this way to ignite it. Now they've also put a very thick white seal in here too, which is good, and the piercing pin is pretty tall, so you won't have to apply a ton of pressure to get this thing to ignite and seal up, which is actually really good. Now these things do have an acclaimed speed of up to 450 feet per second. And we are definitely going to be croning this gun and doing a shooting video as well. Um, will not be done today though. Um, just It's getting late in the day and uh, I'm actually a little tired myself. It's been a long day for me. Um, so probably tomorrow or the next day we'll see how the weather goes too. So in the manual of course, we it talks about a lot of different stuff. Um, different languages uh, are also in here. 
trying to find the English. That's definitely not it. So we got several manuals here. Um, yeah, that looks like. Well, maybe that's the French and English one. Let's check this one out. Well, that's not English. I'm, all, I'm I'm looking for something specific on here. The, the front and rear sight appear to be fixed, but it looks like the rear sight might be adjustable. Because um, there is a screw there. And that's what I want to find out. Because if we can adjust windage, that would certainly be handy. Okay, B. Nope, doesn't talk about the rear sight there. B, arrow B is pointing toward the sight, but just says to put the air gun off of safe. That should have been C, not B. So they kind of screwed up the instructions a little bit here. Firing. Oh, so the rear sight is fixed. Okay. Velocity with a lead pellet is 350 feet per second. Velocity with an alloy pellet is up to 450. Well, we're definitely going to be touching both. All right, 10 pages of instructions later down the line. If you look here, it's it's got a what looks like a, a set screw, and it looks like this could be, like the rear sight could be moved, but it may be that it's fixed, and who really cares, right? It doesn't really matter that much, but, uh, eh, what the heck. It's a cool gun either way. So let's get on with everything else that's in this box. Now that was from DNL. Mm -hmm. And the rest of what I'm about to put out front is also from DNL. We got two packages of 500 7.4 grain wide cutter pellets. We bought wide cutters for this. We are going to try pointed pellets in it. We also got some Prometheus wide cutters. And mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't say here what the weight of it is. It does say online on their website, but I have a scale anyways mm -hmm. I can weigh them with. Uh, but we got that, and I've got some Prometheus 177 pointed pellets, because um, I also have a QB78 that's 177, mm -hmm. and I want to see how fast the thing can rock out with uh, Prometheus pellets. Uh, but these pellets are, well, the wide cutters are mainly for uh, this gun here. So... And, of course, we have spare magazines for my Daisy Winchester uh, M11. I got four spare mags, uh, so I can have a lot more shooting fun now. And I'm going to run, um, well, a grand total of five, the one that came with the gun. So I'm going to run five mags through it and see how much gas is left after that. Okay, so moving along. Now we have stuff that is not from DNL. We do have more stuff coming from DNL. I put in another order for some stuff last night. No more guns. Um, oh yes, we do have a uh, Weaver rail here, Picatinny. And our safety is just a simple lift it up, pull it down kind of deal. Kind of a nice safety. I like the grips. They're kind of neat too. I'm not talking much about the gun today because I want to fire it. You know, do some shooting with it, and then we'll talk about it as far as how well it does. Mm -hmm. um, and this, of course, is, you know, this secondary safety is a fake. So, let's put this away. Pretty neat little gun, though. So, first up, this is stuff from Amazon. I did mention to you guys in another video that I'd be buying some bipod. Because uh, I need yep. them desperately. So, I've tried out two different models to see how well we do. Yeah. And there's our Picatinny mount portion. And there is our main part. Hmm. It's kind of cheap, really. 
Yeah, yeah. We we can we can work something out there, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. You the, the, the right text and what you need to go where and you know. Wow. There we go. Well, that might be more than tall enough. That's pretty good. Should be all right. This bipod is going to get shared on a couple of guns, um, or maybe not. Just trying to think here. We got one mount here, so yeah, I'm going to have to figure out which gun this is going to go on for now. Anyways, we'll get it worked out either way, but looks kind of cool. Not too bad. Okay. So, we have yet another box. Get another bipod. And this is a barrel clamp style bipod. Um, so if you want to put this on uh, your barrel, depending on your gun, I guess. This one looks to be. Mm, oh, that's wussy. You've got to be kidding me. That's all I get. Wow, this might be too short. Depending on what we put it on, I guess. We'll have to be very choosy on the gun we stick this little puppy on, because my other one like this is much taller for the leg eject. Mm, might be good for prone position. Definitely not going to work on the table, though. Way too short for that. Well, we'll have to see. You never know about these things. You take your best shot at it. I'm surprised that that doesn't come out any further. It's like, ooh, all that for an inch. Literally. Okay. So we got one really cool bipod and one very interesting one that we're not sure what it's going to go on. We'll have to figure it out. It'll be something to be shot in prone position a lot, I guess. So onward to the next one. Two. Okay, this is some sexy stuff. So, we've got weaver rails. Now, you guys know I got an MCP or M MCX. I also got a couple other guns that I need to put weavers on. For the usage of bipods, of course. So, one of these rails is going to go on my MCX. And another one is going... Well, the rest of them are going to be split up with my two QBs. And uh, maybe um, my Classic. My Benjamin Classic 22. Anyways, all the screws are here for mounting to slot-style guns, which I only have the one. The rest of them I'll have to just get some regular screws and screw them into the stocks. So no big deal there. So we have two packs of those. So that's cool. I thought there was like five of these per pack. I guess I was wrong. Have to maybe recheck my order. But either way, I have more than enough to do the guns that I need to do. And if I do need to make any mods, I can always slice this one in half, redrill some holes, and countersink them, and I'll be fine. One way or another, everything is going to go together. So guys, that's pretty much my unboxing for, for today. Um, I am still awaiting my light kit in the mail uh, for my chronograph. And I can't wait to try that out and see how well it works. What else am I waiting for? Oh yes, the new order of goodies from DNL, which I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to wait. Um, anyhow... So yeah, this, this bipod looks really good because it's it's definitely got uh, a lot of extra leg where this one here just, that's 
really pathetic. Like, even for light difference, like, that's not going to be... Well, you know they're close. Need about another two inches. Yeah, about another two inches. It's from Amazon. <coughs> go back. Well, no. I, if it works for prone, it'll yeah. be okay. But it's, like it's gonna go on one specific gun that'll just be used for that. So this one, on the other hand, that kicks butt. So. I just gotta figure out this mount deal, how I'm gonna work with getting it on and off to switch between rifles. So I should be I should be able to do that. I don't see why not. We'll figure it out. Anyways, this is a new kind of bipod for me, so be be easy on me guys. Um, bipods are something I never used to ever really use other than we had like a barrel clamp bipod at one time, uh, just because years ago, bipods were real flippin' expensive. They still can be too, depending on the brand you buy. But when you're buying off Amazon, you can get some pretty cheap bipods that actually work really nice. Um, so, so I'll definitely be ordering a couple more like this though, because that's definitely nice and ideal too. Anyway, so, such ends our unboxing fun. Short-lived as it was, it was fun, exciting, I'm happy, I got some new stuff in the mail, waiting for more and more stuff to show up in the mail, um, and we'll just continue on. Stay tuned for the shooting video and the crony video of the new Crossman pistol. I'm kind of digging this thing. It looks kind of cool. I like the I like the whole gun really, you know. So, and I don't know if I'm gonna mount anything on here or not. Might do a laser. We'll see how uh, how well it is with the open sights anyway. But I might put a laser on this thing. Definitely wouldn't put a flashlight. It'd be kind of pointless for daytime use. You definitely got to order spare mags. And I like that because it's like a full mag, like a real gun. That's a nice mag, you know. Why couldn't Daisy think of that? I don't know. They thought of this instead. But, hey, you get what you get, and you continue on, and hope for the best for some companies to modernize a little bit more. But this is cool. I like this gun. That's really nice. Well, see how it works. Maybe we'll buy, a, buy the BB version, too, with the blowback. Because that'd be cool. Then we could put it up against the, the Daisy Winchester for accuracy. BB versus BB, you know. The sights look good, though. They look like they're lined up fine. Uh, let's see, get myself an aiming reference. Yeah, they might be all right. They might be good. We'll see. And it is recessed in the barrel. Pretty thick barrel, too, if you look down the muzzle here. It's a fairly thick barrel, and it is rifled, so that's always a good thing. Not a toy. Misuse or carelessness may cause serious injury or death. Yeah, okay. Model C1911S for silver. I guess it'd be C1911B for black, I guess. But, yeah, nice gun. Very heavy, though, which is good. It's what you want out of an all-metal gun. You know, that's cool. Hmm. Yeah, that is definitely different. Okay, well guys, I'm out of here. Uh, I gotta go install a bipod on a gun. And, uh, some rails. And, and get myself into all kinds of other mischief. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.